All right, in this quick tutorial, we're gonna take a brief look at sharpening and how to sharpen photos inside of Photoshop. Now look, the trick is this, before you do anything, save your image. Save your full size image, well why? Because if you sharpen your image, you can only do it after you size your image. Don't sharpen your image to make it sharper, that's not gonna help anything. Sharpening is increasing edge contrast, but we don't wanna do it at the resolution it comes out of the camera if we're gonna be putting this on the web and it's gonna be a small image. So in this case, we're gonna size this image first. We're gonna to go to image, image size, and I'll make this 2000 pixels. We'll hit okay, and I'll bring this up bigger. And what I'm looking at is I've actually got this at 100%, but for the, this video, I'm just gonna bring it up bigger so you guys can see it. But usually you want to sharpen at 100% so you can see what you're doing. So sharpening is not really making the image sharper. It's basically taking high contrast areas, meaning the glass and the skin, that area, it's gonna make that edge sharper. And right here, this edge sharper, all right? Look, we don't wanna sharpen this area because it's not gonna look good, but we wanna sharpen the necklace and the shirt because there's high contrast. So low contrast areas like flesh tones, we don't wanna to touch those. High contrast areas, we want to increase edge sharpness because we're using an anti-aliasing filter in the camera and we need to sharpen that edge contrast. Now, we've sized our image we must be on the background layer over here. You can't sharpen an adjustment layer. So click on your image. And we're just gonna go over the two simple ways to do it in Photoshop. There's other ways. Truthfully, they don't really make a difference which one you use. They all do a pretty good job. We're gonna come up here to filter, drop down to sharpen, and we're gonna go to smart sharpen first. All right, so this is the newer of the two. Now, what's key here is first of all, radius. So how many pixels in this direction and this direction do you wanna sharpen? Usually it's only one. Usually you do not wanna do more than one. Reduce noise, so we can reduce noise and that would be because you can see in this method, smart sharpen, it's actually sharpening all these pixels and it doesn't look good, so that's why they have this remove noise. And then the amount, how much sharpening that you wanna use. So you'll notice right here, we're at 100%, but okay. And we can bring up the area that we wanna sharpen and we can drag this slider left and right. And you can see that's totally sharpening everywhere on our face. And if we go down to 43, that's starting to look better. Cause look, we don't wanna sharpen these areas. We just wanna sharpen the edge contrast. I know from experience that if you have a 2000 pixel image, you really do not need to have any more than 25 or 30% sharpening. So we're gonna go ahead and hit okay, and that looks okay. It sharpened our image, it also blurred this area a little bit. I'm not a huge fan of smart sharpen, so we're gonna hit Command Z. Next thing that we're gonna do, is we're gonna go up and take a look at the other sharpening method. And so we're gonna go to filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. And I like unsharp mask a whole lot more. We'll increase this once again to that 25%. We've still got the radius, but now we've got threshold. And what threshold means is think of it as almost like of steps in a grayscale, meaning you need to be three steps of a grayscale away, meaning a lighter and darker version. So in this case, because the values are so close, it's not gonna sharpen. It's saying, hey, how many steps away in the grayscale from each other do you wanna be before I sharpen that edge? And this makes a whole lot more sense. So I can increase this if I have really high contrast areas. And if I have areas where they're not so contrasty, but I still wanna sharpen them, I can lower that threshold. And to me, this makes a whole lot more sense because then you're definitely not getting any of these values in here. And then you would hit okay. The last method, and in this case, look, the only area of this image that actually needs to be sharpened is right here, because all this is out of focus. And it's already a pretty grainy image. So we could simply 
So we can easily take our lasso with a feather. See if my mouse is working. We'll just come in here. This is the only area that we want sharpened. I will select it and then I can just reapply that same sharpening method that I had. So sharpen, unsharp mask, 25 there. If I wanted to go 30, I could. So I could type in 30, return, boom. And now I've affected only this area of sharpening and nowhere else. And I'm not adding to that already somewhat noisy grain that we see in the image. That's basically it. That's how you sharpen inside of Adobe Photoshop. If you have any comments or questions, you can always leave those below and please don't forget to subscribe.